You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike and this is a box full of Ferris wheel press uh, charger samples, I believe, that I bought from somebody on the Pin Addict Slack channel. That is a little social networking thing where sometimes we friends trade things and sell things and talk to each other. And this time I got a bunch of these samples. Oh, this is the same kind of stuff I use. Love it. Oh, oh what's this? Is this an extra thing? Look at this little card here. Okay, that's not a card. What's this? Oh, it's three little chargers. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, from a slacker named Annie. And they had a whole bunch of these little chargers. And Ferris Wheel Press calls these things... Oh, it's called the Ink Charger Set. Well, there you go. And they're called chargers because they look like batteries. And I think that's kind of brilliant. And I have a couple of these little chargers, but I don't think I actually have any of the ones that are here. So this is the charger set, uh, like, I don't know, legend. It'll tell you what these things are because the bottoms of these are mysterious and they just have uh, the initials. So I am gonna go ahead and get all of these out. You can see how they look like little batteries here. They have a little plus and minus thing. It says Ferris Wheel Press on there. This is a really, really fun way to do uh, ink sample sets, I think. Uh, there we go. The only trick is that they're made of glass, and I'm glad none of these shattered uh, in transit, although I guess I'm not that surprised. I ship a lot of this kind of stuff in, tra in uh, the same, actually, exactly the same box and wrapping that she used. So it's pretty darn safe. And they're all uh, like saran wrapped at the top, it looks like. It looks like all of them arrived totally safely. All right, so there should be 19 of these. Excuse me, uh, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, 19, good. 19 of these, all right, all right. So let me grab some stuff to, uh, this fun paper here, that's cool. All right, let me grab some stuff to do a whole bunch of ink swatches and then we'll do that here real quick. Did not know they were all gonna have these little saran wraps on them. This is going to take a little time to get these all off of here. <laughs> okay, plastic wrap finally defeated. That took a little while. Uh, I wasn't, uh, wasn't expecting it to be that hard. That's a good cling wrap. All right, so we have all of these colors, and we have this little legend here. So um, I think what I'll try to do... Oh, did I miss one? No, it's over here. Uh, I think what I'll try to do is put them vaguely in this order. Let me uh, just go ahead and set them out. Okay, so now as you can see, I do have, <laughs> I have all of them here except for buttered popcorn, which it looks like maybe she used up. So it must've been a really good one, but uh, that's cool. I mean, I've got uh, I've got all the ones I was expecting. So uh, let's get to swatching. I'm gonna put, um, hmm. I think I'll just kind of put a bunch of swatches in here and then I'll put them roughly in this order as I swatch them. Then I can go back and maybe uh, write next to them what they are. So, uh, you're going to be watching this in hyperspeed and, uh, yeah, this should be fun. So I'll get to work here and, uh, you know, y'all hang tight and enjoy all the swatching show. Okay, so there they are. So while these are drying, I'm gonna go back through and uh, write in real small print what these things are, I think. Okay, I think 
Yeah, I think these are all dry now, and I have learned a few things in the course of, in the course of doing this swatch block. And one is that I don't like these very much. <laughs> these chargers have such a tiny little mouth on them that I'm going to have to use a syringe with a blunt tip to uh, get into any of these. There's no way you're filling a fountain pen from these. You're just not. I don't even really think you can dip a fountain pen in these. They are so narrow. There's the pinky finger. Uh, for comparison. So very small, uh, very, very small. Also, some of these are really hard to get the caps off of because this is smooth and there's just not much to grip, but it does still look stylish. And that's really kind of a Ferris wheel press thing made in Canada. I thought these were a Canadian company and I'm glad to be right. So um, yeah, that was a little bit of a challenge. And also the handwriting on here is real bad because I should have started up here and gone down this way. And maybe I should have put in the words before I put in the swatches, but hey, you live and you learn. Uh, sometimes you do it live and that's what I did. So let's take a look at some of these. A lot of them have darkened into an actual ink and I really was worried that they would not. So grape ice pop looks very nice. This is a good looking grape ice pop and, uh, and I'm into it. I think that's a really nice color. Then we have Madame Mulberry, which I was really kind of psyched about when I saw it on here because I'm like, that's a neat color. It doesn't look anything like my actual swatch though. And when I put this down, I was like, there's no ink here. I hope that it looks like this from a pen and not that because that's unusable. So we'll see eventually. Uh, little Robina looks really pretty nice. Cream of Earl looks exactly nothing like the little dot they put there. That is not even close. And yet, I I'm sure that's the only one that that could have been. So weird. Um, this is an interesting color now. When it went down, it was pretty much clear and I was worried there wasn't any ink in this ink, but it looks like it has kind of matured to an interesting, I don't know, green, gray? Blue Cotton Candy, another one that went down darn near clear, as you saw, but it has darkened uh, thusly into a pretty nice light blue, although I don't know if it's going to be very usable. Then we've got Peppermint Drop, which has a bunch of sheen on it that I wasn't expecting here, but... That's a very nice looking one. And in fact, I'm sure I've had, heard people tell me I need to try this one because it's a really pretty, uh, really pretty ink. Then we have Edwards Gardens there, which is way darker than the actual swatch here. It is sparkling. I had to put a little bit more ink on there because I didn't notice it was sparkling until it was too late. Uh, and so I shook it up and put some sparkle on there, but a nice little gold sparkle, sort of a teal ink with a whole bunch of sheen. Then we have Stroke of Midnight, which actually looks very nice. This is a good looking ink. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, not too far off, I guess, from this. So an interesting sort of cobalt color with a, a bright silver shimmer. I like that. April showers, pretty much as expected. It did dry into something that is uh, a pretty readable gray with a nice amount of silver shimmer. I'm hoping that it's actually like this from a pen. We will see how it goes. Storied blue doesn't look anything like, there it is. Storied blue doesn't look anything like its little dot either. That's an entirely different color and hue, uh, but I, I like this better actually. This looks pretty good. Then we have Morningside Mint, which looks pretty darn nice, and Wonderland in Coral, which again does not look like it's swatched very much. It is uh, much more orangey, but it uh, it does nonetheless look pretty nice. I actually think I like this one better. Sweet Honeydew, I was worried no ink in that ink, but it did come through for me. And then uh, Main Street Marmalade, which looks real nice. That's a cool looking orange. Then we've got Peter Moss here, which uh, is this one that looks pretty much like advertised. I think that looks pretty good. Beaver Dam Brown, which has a nice, uh, interesting sort of uh, nutty brown shade. Then Strawberry Macaron, which is, uh, I was this is the second one I put down I was like oh no is there ink there is ink in there it turns out and it's a interesting pale pink shade it's definitely more peach than it is here um that doesn't look like strawberry to me whereas this kind of does so I guess we'll see what that's like in a pen at some point pumpkin patch very nice purple uh purple very nice orange I think it looks better in uh the actual swatch than it does here by a good margin pink eraser is kind of a weirdo so here it looks like it's kind of the medium. Well, I guess it's kind of like this color, this bit of that uh, that particular swatch. But this one could be interesting. Uh, that pink eraser color looks like it could be pretty cool. So there you go. Thanks for swatching along with me uh, with these Ferris wheel press inks. Let me know if you have some favorite Ferris wheel press inks down there in the description. And, uh, you know, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Let's get this graph up here all the way up to 100% subscribed. That would be amazing. And y'all can do it just by hitting that subscribe subscribe button. And uh, until next time, uh, you know, peace out. Inky fingers. That, that just proves you're, uh, proves you're a fountain penner. Inky fingers.